Thank you everyone for one clicking view on this video. Welcome back to Living Fit with Leash and another how-to video. I'm really excited to bring you this one. It's come off the back of my last video which was top three changes. I had such a good response from you guys and I'm just so excited that I got to share that part of my life with you and that I had so much support coming through on all the comments and all the messages that I got on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat. Really wanted to create this video because been dealing with my own flunks and this in case you haven't noticed already by the thumbnail that I haven't created yet is going to be how to fight the flunk my top three on how to fight the flunk so before we get into this video have you ever found yourself thinking why is this happening to me why is this person not like me? Why did this not work out today? Now, if any of you who actually follow me on Snapchat, you would know that not everything always works well for me in my life. I put myself, I put them on the wrong thing. I have two choices in this moment, to fight the flunk or to go with the flunk. It's all well and good for me to tell you that you just need to spark up Sparky. And it's not 100%. We're going to have bad days. We're going to have good days. And sometimes we just don't know how to get out of that flunk and things just keep snowballing. There are some days I get out of bed and I'm just like, oh my God, this is so difficult. So have a top three. Everyone always says have a positive attitude and sometimes it's not that easy. It's about having a possible attitude and when things aren't going your way, finding where is the opportunity in this problem, erasing all the mess and making it an artwork. The three things that really work will come to you after you subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'm going to put a little ding, ding, whatever side it is, I can't remember. Subscribe, like this video and watch it all the way through. Number one, is to change your perspective. It's so easy to get in the flow of a negative or flunky mindset. When we get ourselves into a new perspective or a different way of looking at things, that is where we can see the potential to make something great of something that isn't so great. So for example, I'm having a bad day. I'm dealing with something. How can I make someone else's day better? So for me, it's about going, Someone else might be having a worse day than I am. The fact that I put the socks on the wrong feet, someone else might be dealing with something a little bit worse. So I change my perspective, I get out there and I go, is this really something that I need to be worried about right now? It's just having a larger picture outside of yourself. What is it that, is this moment in time really gonna have a great impact? In five years from now, is this situation, this flunk going to be something that I remember? Probably not. If that's the case, then I just keep trucking and keep doing things a little bit differently, hoping tomorrow I'll see a light in that darkness. And that is getting me to number two. Number two is to change your environment. So a lot of the times when we get into a flunk, it is because of who we are surrounding ourselves with. And it's our own negative self-talk going over and over again. Once we take ourselves out of our environments and get outside, feel some fresh air, go for a walk, go to a cafe, sit down, talk to someone else, go outside. And if you just can't do that, to listen to a podcast, get myself in a positive headspace and really try and understand the situations that are going on outside of myself. I think it's very important that we surround ourselves with people that are being successful in their own rights or have a larger perspective on life. So that can help you change. Number three, and this one's probably my favorite, do what you love doing something for you or somebody else. This one is truly about finding what it is that you like to do, getting out, moving, being physically active. A release of endorphins is really gonna help you get that happy mood booster back and that living in possibility mindset. Also, it'll make you feel a lot better if you, one, take top tip number one, which is change your perspective. Realize that someone else might not be having a great day either. And then to appreciate them or do something else for somebody else, which will make you really stop thinking about this flunk that you're in. If I feel appreciation for anyone in any moment, I give it to them. And I feel great because that flows on it, paying it forward. These three things have really worked for me in the past. Like why I get up every single day is how can I have a significant impact or a greater impact on the world? And 
I love all of you guys and I'm so glad that you're still with me and fighting all these fears and going through this motion of change. One of the big things that I've noticed in my friends and lives around me at the moment is that they are dealing with a lot of change and transition. That's why I created this video. It's with change and transition comes a lot of flunky moments. You can't really understand why some of the things are happening in your life and you just want to know and you want to have this, this understanding. But sometimes we don't understand. We just need to go with it and do the best that we can every single day and just become the best versions of ourselves by doing those three things. But that's not everything. That's not three solid things that are going to get you out of a flunk. I'm sure you guys have your own methods of madness and I would love to hear them in the comment section below. Please tell me how to get out of this flunk. Please tell me how do I deal with my transitional phase. I would love to hear from you and if you're a new subscriber, check out my transformation stories. This is where you're going to learn a little bit more about me and why I sit down in front of the camera and talk to you guys every single week. Sometimes I don't know what's going to happen next, but that's the beauty of life. And I'm just rolling with my homies. But that is me signing out. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. And I am going to talk to you guys soon. Bye bye. Bye now. Bye. Bye. I'm going to regain my thoughts. Even now, I'm having a little bit of a flunk. Flunky doodle. One city. Flunk. Flunk city. Ooh. Okay. How to fight the flunk. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going with this. Let's keep rolling.